but then we have some where we kind of tail off a little bit. So as we become more consistent, we will start to see some success. I think that, I mean, going back to the consistency piece, I, I, I honestly, I want us to be consistent and I want us to compete. Um, and I think that when you do that and you take care of scouting reports and you're a good teammate and you work really hard, everything kind of starts to fall in line. So we've set some goals for them, you know, um, as a team and it's just to get better every day. I told, I tell them, you know, win today. That should be your, your thing. Whatever it is that you do that maybe you didn't do yesterday, try to win and try to be better on the next day. So how has the offseason been for you? Um, it's been good. It's been rewarding. I've been learning, you know, a lot about myself and in, in this new position that I'm in, a lot about my staff and, you know, having a chance to get to know my players even more. First, I'll start with, with overall with our freshmen. Um, I told them right away at the beginning, of, at the end of the summer, actually, you guys are going to have an opportunity to play right away. I'm um, not going to promise you anything starting or how many minutes you're going to get, but we're going to kind of um, throw you into the fire so that you can get some experience. And, you know, we have some experience coming back with Tiana. You know, she started a lot of games for us, um, scored a lot for us. She had a huge role last year, and then with Bianca, coming back, Nina was able to kind of mix in, and then Christy has a year under her belt. So all we're doing is looking for all those young ladies to just kind of mesh, start to mesh and, you know, put it together on both ends of the floor. Again, I think whenever you start something new, um, there's kind of like a, a closing of, of one book and opening to a, another a new phase. Um, so we still had that. It was good that we had that I had the rapport with the um, with the other with the returners, and then you know my staff having uh, formed some relationships with the returners and things like that. Um, but you know, as you move forward, things kind of change, and you don't want it to be this way. But going from an assistant coach to a head coach, maybe those conversations and those uh, those interactions aren't the same, but you try to keep it as, as level as possible um, so that they always know that they have, you know, that, that kind of comfort that they can come, something's going on, or even when we're in practice and, hey, coach, what do you think about this? Or can we run this? Or what do you think about looking at it this way? Um, you always want them to kind of have a voice, and we started that back in, you know, April. We've been doing a lot of off-the-court stuff, which you know, we hope translates to on the court with them bringing their energy, with them being consistent every day. Um, so just those types of things. Is there any part of the, the pressure that you guys are under right now from having to continue to kind of improve the roster that you've built? For me, it's, it's taking care of the defensive end of the court. Um, I think that last year we really had a lot of struggles. And if you ask our, my players, um, a lot of it is, is predicated on defense. Because when you take care of the defensive end of the floor, it just transitions and flows into the offensive side of the court. Everyone wants to play offense. Not everyone wants to, you know, be involved on defense. And I'm trying to um, – it's a steady fight every day to try to get them into that mentality of we have to take care of our business on the defensive end of the floor. And that's with – that's with rebounding. That's with being tough. Um, you know, taking care of that end translates to everything. Um, well, just kind of with our non-conference schedule, it's not just names, it's people that have proven themselves. You know, Miami, I think they're, uh, just saw a preseason poll, they're ranked in the top 20. Um, so they're coming to us, and we have to go to South Florida, and Jacksonville, who won their conference last year, and Florida Gulf Coast, who's 
always really tough. We have to go play at their place. So um, just giving them an opportunity to grow in the non-conference so that once we finish with our non-conference, you know, you start a new season going into conference, and hopefully they have some confidence under their belts that they've, you know, experienced some things and, and can kind of translate that to the conference play. And, and with conference play, I mean, there are no there are no no-night calls. I mean, everyone is going to compete. They're going to try to um, bring their best game um, to you. So just being prepared and being ready and knowing that every night you're going to kind of be in a fight. was, but um, as, I, as I've said before, and I've been saying a lot, and I've told the team, you, you guys are a new team, so kind of everything from last year, you can build off that momentum and, and have that confidence, um, but put your mark and put your stamp on what's going on now um, into this current season. I think our identity is really based off toughness. Uh, we talk about that and being together a lot uh, through adversity, whether it's um, you know just a bad day shooting or you might be a little tired. We just try to stay together and come together and just continue to play together and follow you know instructions and directions and do our assignment each time. I can actually add to that because um, Coach Malcolm, I think she do, she's doing a very good job at uh, establishing a, a, a culture of change. And, you know, and that culture of change is enabling us to further develop team chemistry, which I think is very important because, you know, knowing we're a family and we got each other's back on and off the court is definitely something that can uplift our game, you know, and help us win this season. Took take care what we can control, like being coachable and um, all that kind of stuff. working hard every single day to get better and I believe that hard work pays off so I think that's what we have to do. Well, I'll start. Um, being a senior, that's when uh, finality starts to set in, right? So um, I would say, you know, knowing that you have only a couple of more months left to, to play college basketball, but um, also having the chance to, like, apply everything that you learned so far, it, it gives you a bitter, bittersweet experience and bittersweet feeling. Um, so I'm, I'm just very excited because as a senior now, like, I'm ready more now more than ever um, to take a leadership role and help my teammates win. I'm very excited.
pretty good. Um, coming in as a freshman and adding and having a role, um, that was it was for me to fit in. It was a big thing to fit in. I think Bianca especially. Um, she was always in my ear and always, you know, telling me that I got it and just kind of pushing me. And Luna's been against me in practice and pushing me too. So I think they've done a great job um, pushing me and you know pushing the freshmen as well. I've been working on being more offensive minded, more aggressive because um, last conference tournament I had a chance to uh, have more freedom and like fire more shots. So I think that's definitely what I've been working on this year. And also um, our practice efforts have been mainly focused on, uh, you know, defensive, uh, defensive side of the, of, the, of, of the game. So I believe that that's something that we all improved in 